Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the Up Next Fighting YouTube channel. I'm Denise Salcedo, and sitting with me right now is Weston Kiros. Uh, Weston, it's so nice to see you once again. Uh, we are heading into UNF 15. Uh, how do you feel heading into this big show? I feel good. I feel really good. This has been the best camp of my life. No excuses. I feel amazing. Why has this been the best camp of your life? Um, I'm experienced now. You know, I figured out what to do, what not to do, how much of what to do, you know, and uh, yeah, I just feel like I kind of have the whole camp and everything figured out, and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, it's just the experience. Yeah, that's always really good to hear, right, whenever that goes good for you. Uh, it seems like you're headed in the right direction, uh, mentally, physically, all of that. So at UNF 15, you have a pretty cool opportunity because you're going to be fighting Weston Cox. Now, with a win, if you do defeat him, you will be put in position to fight for the lightweight Rising Stars Championship. Uh, getting this win and then heading on to get into that title picture, how, I mean, oh my gosh, that's a pretty huge. What would that mean to you to actually get the victory and get that opportunity to challenge for the gold? Um, I just want to fight, I want to fight the best guys, you know. I don't really, uh, I don't really think too much about the belt. It is what it is. I just, uh, you know, if Isaac is who they say the best 55er is, let's see, let's see, you know. But first I got to get through uh, Cox and uh, yeah, I'm excited. How have you been feeling? Because uh, how many fights now have you had with UNF? You've had definitely I, one before, right? Yeah. I've had only one fight with UNF, but I have, uh, I have, I think, five other fights besides that. Yeah. Nice. So what's your record like? Um, four, four and two. And mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, I'm five and one, but four and two. Got it, got it. All right, so for you, like, this is a big year. Uh, of course, you know, we're talking about 2024 because it's the new year. We're all excited. We're feeling uh, we're feeling ourselves. All of us are. For you, like, what is, like, the short-term and the long-term goals? So I want to fight on every card Up Next has that I can, you know. January, February, March, I want to fight on all of them because uh, August uh, is my birthday, and I want to go pro by then, so... Yeah. Sweet, man. Oh, my God. What did it mean to you to go pro? Um, you know, it's, it's always been the plan. So uh, just, you know, part of the plan, part yeah. of the process. Of course, of course. So walk us through what your journey has been like here in MMA so far. What have the last couple of years looked like for you? How long have you been doing this for? So I started off as a, you know, just a, a grappler, you know. And my, even my first few MMA fights, I was just a grappler. I would literally take fights off of jujitsu classes you know and I would wrestle with some guys and maybe spar once or twice but you know you fight some guys who are who are higher level they have they have uh things that you know maybe take down defense and then you realize okay I got to be able to mix it all up you know so uh I've really been turning weaknesses into strengths and uh, I can't wait to show that yeah, that's really good. Turning weaknesses into strengths. I think that's what we all want to do with any of our weaknesses, right? That's definitely what we want to do. Uh, Weston, for you, who would you say are some of your biggest influences in uh, mixed martial arts? Uh, in mixed martial arts? Man, coming up, I, I took a lot of inspiration. I think a lot of guys do from like Conor McGregor, guys like that. Uh, I like Chuck Liddell. But these days, like, you know, I'm getting to the point where I don't, I, I inspire myself. I don't really look at other fighters, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to beat those guys now, you know, so yeah, I, I inspire myself. That. That's a really good way to look at it, Weston. I think that's really awesome. Well, first of all, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me, and I cannot wait to see you fight at UNF15. For those of you who want to grab your tickets, go to the link in the description box below, and you can purchase them there. And until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you, everybody.